hello, hello, and hello to all of my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a general reading. Happy midweek Wednesday to any, each and every one of you all Scorpios. We are now feeling the effects of this moon and Scorpio in your sign, Scorpio. So the emotions run deep, real deep. And anything unhealthy in terms of emotions or wounds or anything, even back to your past life, your ancestral childhood, um, family trauma, source is giving you an opportunity to let those things those come to the surface. No matter what triggers it, no matter what's going on in your life right now that triggers something from your past, allow it to come to the surface so that you can take, that's your opportunity to purge. Let's get right into it, Scorpios. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say, Scorpios. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, Scorpios. Let's do it. That's right. Make sure you keep Most High God first. First in everything that you do. There we go. Here we have the Severance card and also the the uh, the, the the Empress and also the Temperance card. Somebody could um you could have a guardian angel. It could be like if somebody's mom or like mother of your children or you know um it could be somebody's mom because we have pregnant here and then also the angel wings right here. They're really in and or and you could have a Sagittarius in your life, Scorpio. That's also saying you know see things from an expanded view, like learn how to adapt to to new things. Something about someone's um here we have the um, page of swords and also the seven of swords here. Source is saying to you, the anxiety that you may be feeling about energies in your life is going to come to an end. The overthinking, low vibrational thoughts about things, you know, is going to come to an end. Um, there could be some people who have projected some, themselves or tried to project their uh, their feelings about you onto you to try to get you to believe certain things about yourself. But Source is saying to you, your intuition is extremely heightened. So at this point, you should know when people are trying to project who they are on to you to let that sit in your water so that you can mirror that energy. They could say that you're, you know, low vibrational, that you're narcissistic, that you're not trustworthy, whatever it is. And you all are kind of a mysterious sign. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean like you all are a divine feminine energy and water signs. And so you need time to process your emotions. And so some people may not understand that. So you may want to be able to kind of sort of, you know, if, People, if you're giving people access to your universe, Scorpio, explain that to them. Like, I need time to process things. It's just that simple. If you want access to my universe, you're going to give me some time to process things and not force me to respond to things when I'm not ready. So I do see Source saying to you an additional stream of income is coming your way. Incoming of information about your money is also coming your way. And not just money, not just paper and coins money. It's also uh, additional streams of incoming information about, you know, uh, feelings of security and stability in your health and family and all of those things. So that's what people are trying to get you to do is see things from a higher frequency. And so that's what somebody's guardian angel is doing. Also, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the, the Temperance card, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. We also have the Ace of Swords and also the Nine of Wands. And so the Temperance card came out twice. And again, like I said, somebody has a guardian angel, whether it's their mom, someone that you have a child with, a child could be involved, whether it's your birth child or an adopted child, or like a like you could be like a uh, a nurturing figure to somebody else's child, whether you're a man or woman, doesn't really matter. But you have a guardian angel that's saying you're almost on the other side of a long and arduous journey. The only reason why it says almost is because emotionally someone is still hurt over something. Like somebody is still, you know, feeling very wounded over something, right? And again, <clears throat> that could trigger other emotions. Um, the sword energy is not just about you know, people who are running smear campaigns and that kind of stuff. Sword energy could also be loss of a loved one, like death. Since we have guardian angel here, somebody could really have some feelings about something. So if you're having downloads and dreams about your mom or someone who's like a mother figure in your life, that could be a guardian angel or um, someone you had kids with that's no longer here, you know, or thought about having kids with that's no longer here or, um, so source is saying to you that you have guardian angels watching over you. So you got a lot of incoming information about really enjoying your life, like focusing on your life. We also have the, um, the two of pentacles came out twice situations. So source is saying, you know, basically double look at things from an expanded view. 
So it could be your mother, it could be your children, it could be something having to do with a rebirth here. And so it's keeping your, making sure your inner child, this would be your inner child, this is your divine masculine and your divine feminine, making sure your inner child is at peace um, with itself uh, so that you're not, you're not stressing yourself out over anything. Let's look at the questions here. Um, let's look at the questions here, Scorpio. Uh, as we are experiencing or are about to experience the moon in Scorpio, waxing gibbous moon in Scorpio on our way to full moon. I think it's July 3rd is the full moon, I believe. As you all know, you all are a pretty intense sign. You are like an investigative sign. So this is where you want to investigate your own universe. Um, do I let things sit in my water too long? Can I release things sooner? You know, those things. So here are the questions for you, Scorpio. First question is, what are the stories of your ancestors, meaning your past lives? Ancestors, comma, your past lives, question mark. Second question is, where do you need to go to heal your connection with your roots? Third question is, do you feel truly empowered in your relationships and career? Fourth question is, is there a deep trauma that, need, that you need to look at, heal, and release? during this moon last question is who are the people meaning therapists healers and so on who could help you to dive deeper that's also important because like i said one of your ruling planets pluto is currently retrograde right now and then also saturn is retrograde and neptune is about to go retrograde so these retrogrades remember means that planets don't slow down but it gives you an opportunity to kind of sort of slow down and think about your next steps really gives you an opportunity to slow down and think about your next steps so here we have the ace of swords the star card the hermit card the wheel of fortune the devil card and also the lover's card so there can also be an aquarius in the mix too that's kind of helping somebody to see things from an expanded view like learning how to adapt and see things from an expanded view but of course the devil is trying to keep you chained to it like trying to keep you chained to your demons. The devil is not a person. Obviously, it's not a physical being. It's a spirit. It's us operating in our flesh. Everybody has demons, right? And so um, our flesh, like what is it, you know, something projected into your your water and somebody could be dealing with those things. But there, you're, you have people around you. There's some kind of a partnership where there's a twin flame energy partnership. Um but something is trying to tell you, hey, focus on your twin rate flame partnership, twin twin flame relationship partnership or twin flame business relationship where you feel motivated, you feel inspired, you have clarity of thought. Like when you experience loss of loved ones, since we get angel wings up here, when you experience loss of loved ones, it, it makes it kind of hard to reconnect with people like on a deeper level. Like sometimes it's like, okay, well, I don't want to I don't want to get that deep into something just in case something happens to them. Um wheel of fortune so again the wheel of fortune is connected to Jupiter. Look at the expanded view. Like really look at Jupiter is the good luck good fortune planet. So source is saying to you you have a lot of good luck or good fortune or blessings that's trying to come in and so deal with you know, processing loss, the things that you left behind. That's where the breakthrough is going to come in, in two situations. That's where the transition, that's where the breakthrough is going to come in because somebody's in hermit mode right now. And so these two cards right here are ruled by Mercury. Uh, Virgo and also Gemini. We're not talking about your Gemini and Virgo in your life. Source is saying to you, tell God exactly what it is that you want, whatever it is that you want and be very specific be very deliberate and intentional about what you want because otherwise somebody could be kind of sort of just like um spinning in circles so if you have anybody around you that's trying to help you to see things from an expanded view those are the key, those are the people that you want to keep around and saying well maybe you should you know, because this has to do with love, love relationships. We have twin flame energy and somebody is chained to their demons. You have to, first of all, uh, figure out what are your demons? Is it fear? Is it doubt? Is it, you know, I've been in relationships and people have taken advantage of me or I put all of myself into it and it didn't work out. Like what, what are you, what are your fear? What are your temptations? Things that's going to cause you to come across as your water to be toxic. Uh, let's, let's get ready to 
get ready to close this out. So hopefully those questions will help you. Again, happy midweek Wednesday to each and every one of you all, Scorpios. You all got this. You got it. So it's just trying to, you know, create a, a great life for you. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is Legacy Wealth. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Page of Wands, the God card. The Strength card came out in reverse, and so did the Ace of Wands. Somebody is really like, somebody. somebody is really having a rough time. You know, the strength and the um, ace of wands came out in reverse. And so somebody doesn't feel like they're like really paying attention to their third eye. Someone feels like they don't want to do the work or they just want to kind of sort of let information come to them. And so if you feel like you are emotionally drained, this is where you let go and you let God. Like, okay, God, I don't have any more fight in me. I don't have no fire in me. You know, help me with this. All you have to do is just say, God, help me. I'm ready to receive whatever information you want me to know. I'm ready. So that's where the breakthrough is going to come in. It's like a double breakthrough is going to come in, you know, for somebody. Because somebody may have tried everything else except calling out to source. You know, and um, the Ten of Pentacles and also the Page of Wands. So God is cooking up something really nice for somebody. All you have to do is tell source what you want. And so, and this is where you want to tap into God, God inside of yourself, like the God inside of you. This is not arrogance. It's not pride. It's like, okay, instead of me running to and fro, asking everybody else, doing this, going to this priest, this pastor, this reader, this healer, this Reiki master, this life coach, let me tap in. Let me go in with God and ask questions about my legacy. What is my legacy? What is my legacy tied to? Sometimes people go to brothers, sisters, aunt, uncles, mom, dad, everything. God says, I want you. I want to talk to you. Just me and you, right? Queen of Swords. Lots of thinking going on here. Lots of overthinking about situations. And Source is like, you don't need to do all of this overthinking. All you have to do is just come to Source with whatever it is that you want. If you want love in your life, if you feel like, you know, you are, um, you know, trying to make some decisions about things. So source is saying all the time that you put in chain to something, you know, your demons of fear, doubt, uncertainty about your future and somebody else's future, whatever source is saying, all you have to do is come to God, ask God, help me with this. Help me to see what I'm not seeing. So you can have that divine flow. Eventually, one sublime desire takes precedence over all, all others to follow the divine flow at all costs. That's right. Follow the divine flow at all costs. Somebody better talk to their maker. And where, where do you need to go for that? Within that voice. And you know, like when you say, when somebody says, well, something told me that something was the voice of God. So I see somebody really disciplining themselves to not just go to God in a crisis, but just on a regular basis. God loves our gratitude, and I'm not trying to preach to anybody. This is um, this is what's coming to me. You know, God loves our gratitude. Besides the text, the Bible tells us that God loves our gratitude. So I'm not trying to project that onto somebody. The more you stay in a spirit of gratitude. Uh, about your life, the clearer things become because you're focusing on other thing, other things. I mean, things other than the negatives of life. Here we have be bold and make the first move. So if you need to feel like you need to make a first move, a phone call or something, and get some answers to close out cycles, do what, do what you need to do. Step out. The cardinal cardinal energy uh, means to initiate, right? Cardinal energy. You initiate. Initiate the conversation with God first. And then ask God for help. God, what should I do? How should I proceed? Earthly worship. Until my body is in your arms, I will worship you, dear earth of mine. It's like Mother Earth, right? Of mine. So maybe somebody needs to be outside near water, talking to God, getting some downloads, being patient and hearing from God and stepping out on faith, like really, really stepping out on faith. What Source is trying to do is increase someone's spiritual journey. Like that's what, that's what I'm saying here. Like really increase your spiritual walk, not religious, spiritual. Spirituality came before religion. So that's what I'm seeing for you all, Scorpios. 
Growth, affirmations for growth. I am a work in progress. I release old habits and create new trails. Each day I am getting better. I am in charge of the direction of my life. I am not defined by my past. I grow through my struggles. Roadblocks create opportunities. So it's all up to you. It is up to you. Up to you. Sing, 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 a sing, a sing. All right, here we have what really matters to you. The fact that you're alive means that you've been giving a reprieve to think deeply about that question. That's right. Somebody's like, okay, I'm just grateful to be alive. Okay, God, what do you have for me to do today? What's my assignment today, God? You know, do you want me to go compliment people? Do you want me to, you know, you want me to close out cycles in love? Whatever it is that you need to do, so go straight to the master. Go straight to the master, which is source, which resides inside of you, not outside of you, inside of you. That's why it says the God. Go to the God inside of you. Certainly not energies that have a God complex, you know. So here we have 18. One plus eight is nine. I am kind hearted. You are both open minded and open hearted and you are you and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. That is correct. And that is what I have for you. That is what I have for you. Let's see. We have some Uno cards here for you. Let's see what the let's see what the what is. Okay, that wild card came out on the bottom. <laughs> Wait a minute for a second. Hold on. Hold on. All right, Uno cards. What you got for Scorpios before we close this out? All right. What are the colors and the numbers? And what is the message in the colors and the numbers? Oh, the eight popped out. The number eight, source is saying get rooted and grounded. Eight is the money exchange number, right? Um, and when, when this is out of alignment, when this is out of alignment, um, and we see that it is your is upright, so we're gonna just talk about that part. This is what source is saying, the top window for the number eight is for your, your spiritual vision. The, the, your, the vision, like how you see your life. Like, do you see your life settled, you know, married with kids, children, um, booming career all of these creative ideas you know like you you clearly see all the energies around you if there's any negativity around you if you're not making money from it like a songwriter a whatever just kind of so or writing a book that's going to help people to see things through your lens that's going to be quite relatable like what um so this is the money exchange number the bottom window for the number eight is your good product and service and so on the, this turn it sideways it looks like an infinite amount of resources for you, right? The infinity symbol. And so source is saying at your root chakra, pull it together. Like start, like hit a reset button. Take that water that you have and replenish your water with fresh water. Flush out all the toxins, the cracks in your universe to find out what do I need to, I need to seal off access to all toxins coming in. I want to be able to see it coming my way if it wants to gain access, but toxic emotions, I need to flush those things out. I need to flush them out. Here we have the number eight, the number seven, the number seven, the uh, wild card. Somebody's a wild card. And then four plus four, 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 wild card again. So somebody could definitely be in a relationship with somebody who's a wild card, like kind of feel like, okay, it can go either way with both of us, right? Somebody could kind of feel like, okay, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. So again, source is saying, make the best of it. Here's the seven, which is connected to your soul. This, this not the number seven, but your, the color yellow. Connected to your solar plexus chakra is like, you know what? I will go directly to source and so will they go directly to source. And this right here, this is your higher self and this is your lower self. This right here is connecting your higher and lower self. So again, I'm going to source. I need some downloads about some, some energies. I need some downloads. You know, this whole situation is wild. That's where you see these wild cards, like colors all over the place. It's like, I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get my root, my throat, my heart and my solar plexus chakra in alignment, right? And so I want to make sure I need, I get everything in alignment. So we got these four cards here. Did I pick out four? Yeah, we got, the, and then that's seven. These fours right here. So you got two fours in reverse and also the um, four in upright. So this is um, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, and then also your root chakra here. And so source is saying to you, 
get rooted and grounded because something has turned somebody's life upside down. It's almost like somebody is like, okay, well, when we talk about your throat chakra, we're talking about um, not only audibly communicating, but also listening with your spiritual ears, taking the time to settle down and hear what source has to say to you about your heart. It's going to be a, a conversation about, you know, do we have the same definition of love, trust, healing, gratitude, compassion, connection, forgiveness? Are we on the same page when it comes to the root chakra? Do we both have the same definition of this, uh, of the word security, stability, career success, prosperity? That may looks like that's the thing that's here, but these two are here that's in reverse or upside down, what you see here on the cards could be that's that need a conversation needs to be had maybe with you and somebody else that you know you could feel like is a twin flame so definitely some conversations need to be had you know to get everything in alignment if you feel like you're with your person or you feel like uh, we kind of sort of hit a roadblock or stumbling blocks or if you're open to receiving love if that's what you want then also seeing okay i need to we need to have some conversations here because the assumption that everybody should know what everybody is thinking that never works talk about it like somebody initiate some conversations so that is what i have for you uh scorpios thank you so much for joining me and like i said you know find out what your demons are see what you chain to you know, have those open conversations because sometimes when you tell people things that you think are going to run them away, it may not run them away at all. Sometimes people are afraid at all. This person now knows this information about me and they're going to run. For them, they may be like, no, oh, that's it. Okay. I can help you with that. That's not a that's not a temptation for me. I can help you with that. But you got to be real careful. That's why you go straight to God first and ask God for direction and all of this. But this is what I have for you and I will see you all on... Freedom Friday. Bye.